Welcome back. A local group has spent the last few weeks collecting new blankets and other items for newborns in intensive care. Today, the Dreams Foundation dropped off all those donations at the NICU at Renown. And Jamie Hayes sat down with the group's co-founder to find out why this drive is so important. Yeah, we'll just stash those back in. We go through so many of these clothes every day. We have so many babies coming in and out of the NICU and we don't have these provided for us only through donations. These boxes are filled with hundreds of clothes and blankets donated by the Dreams Foundation. These donations are vital to the NICU, a place that holds a special meaning for the group's co-founder. At 17 weeks at our gender reveal, we found out that my son had gastroschisis and that's his intestines are forming on the outside of his abdomen. So we were, we were prepared, we knew that we would have a stay there, but you never know what to expect, like once you walk through those doors. Her son, who is turning three soon, is now a happy and healthy boy. Carmona Zink and her family spent a lot of time at the NICU, where they fell in love with the staff. They become an extension of your family. And during her time, she realized there was a need for clothes and blankets. So our whole goal really was to give back, obviously, but to give families a sense of normalcy because you have zero normalcy in, in the NICU. During her donation drive, she collected more than 450 pajamas and over 350 blankets, but she wasn't alone in these efforts. I feel that I have a lot and I appreciate all that I have. So to give back to all these kids that don't really have as much, it just makes me happy to give some of my joy to them. Kenley Fassett heard of Carmona Zink's effort and decided to help out, holding her own donation drive at Billinghurst Middle School, collecting over 30 blankets and 30 pajamas for the Dreams Foundation. It was awesome. I mean, I didn't think that kids would donate. Helping the hundreds of newborns and their families feel like they have a home when they're unable to go home just yet. They're not worn down. Um, we go through them so quickly and to see our parents react when they see their baby in brand new bedding and clothing, it's just, it's, we're really grateful. Covering the story, Jamie Hayes, 2 News. Now, if you would like to help the cause, donate to the Dreams Foundation, you can just check our website or our app.